The Wednesday kicks off with the newly sponsored Ballymore Novice Hurdle over two miles, five furlongs. And this is it. This is what all the Irish will come over for. This is the hot pot. This is the almost most talked about horse of the whole festival, believe it or not, even given the greats that we've got. And the brilliantly named Sam Crow is your four to six favourite. Now, can you tell me why he's called Sam Crow, Alistair? No, not a clue. Come on. I know you've got Netflix. And you Who? like and you like you like you like you like, Sorry, your, you, like you like your I, Hell's Angels bike. I, I had Netflix, but I've taken some cream for it and it's not itching nearly as badly now. Exactly. No, um, Sam Crow, yeah. who is named after the wonderful TV programme Sons of Anarchy. All right. And he is the best young horse in the country, or in the islands, or wherever you want to call it. He's the best around. He's a four to six favourite. That's why there's bookmakers there, and that's why there's a general public there. What are the bookies going to do on the day? Are you going to take him on? Or well, they're going to run over Cleve Hill going, ah! I think a lot to do will be to do with day one, how they get mm. on, or how we get mm. on, or how everyone gets on. But it, for me, he's the one to get beat. And if, if, as a bookmaker, if you can't lay these novices at odds on, there's Got no to. point turning up. Yeah. Which leads me on to my next point, on the blind side. And Toby, I'll tee you up, I'm a big fan of this horse. Yeah. done nothing it, wrong. Can he get the job done? Yes, he can. Uh, oh. he, he can ruin all of the fun that everyone on Sam Crow, definitely. Tell us why. Um, he has come on so much throughout the season. Um, he was very, very green at the start of the season. When he ran at Cheltenham last time, sort of, it was, it was so green, a little bit on the forehand, you know, it didn't really come down the hill properly. That explains to people what that means. So a little bit, so weight on the, on the front end, sort of like not, not completely balanced, which is sort of like... Just so you know, Toby, you can ignore him, I do. Okay, so, fine. But not everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. Go on, go on um, Toby, sorry, anyway, shut up. Anyway, the, as he's gone through the season, I mean, when, when he won at Cheltenham that time, we, everyone in the yard was like three miles, surely three miles. Yeah. And um, the two of us, the boss was the only one who was like, no, yeah. two and a half. And, and we're like, what? Um, and went to, went to Sandown and absolutely hacked up. Yeah. Found yeah. his change of gear and boom, gone. Um, and so he's come on so much and he had not time joint, which is why sort of he hasn't been out again <coughs> since, but he's been... He's been on the go, galloping fantastically at home. He can definitely spoil the fun. Well, there we go. Let's hope you're right. <laughs> I hope There's right. a lot of other races I hope you're wrong, Toby, but this one I very much hope you're right, along with the whole of the betting ring. Is uh, he doing some exceptional work? Yeah, he's doing some very good work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, Chepsel's a long word. <laughs> for an assistant <laughs> trainer. Very good. I can't fine. even say it unless I spell it. I think it's VG. I think it's VG. Yeah. 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 Right, William. <laughs> William, we've been to enough festivals over the years and seen enough of these... Uh, no, you haven't. I've been to 41, 46 <laughs> coming up. Let, all I will so say you were still I, a gleam in somebody's eye in those days. It wasn't only me, but it's everyone watching that thought it was a lot more than 41. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Phil. Yeah. Sam Crow, another one that will be sent packing, or is, is he the real dad? I must, before I answer, uh, ask that, I must say well done to the O'Leary's. I have to get this in there because... Yeah. All this racing going on, all these trainers, owners, etc. For them to come out three weeks in advance and say, Sam Crow runs in the Ballymore, that's the end. I want to applaud them now and say a lot of the other Irish trainers and mm. owners can learn a lot from that because it will benefit everyone in the game. But anyway, before well, I get myself in too much trouble and a fine yeah. for the Premier League, Bill, Sam Crow, say, yes or no? I'd say on that, wait till it rains on the Sunday night before the festival and they switch it to, oh, the, go. to, to, well, to, it, to, to the Tuesday. Um, no, I agree with you, it's a right decision. I think he is very, very good. Uh, you know, that, that, that win in Ireland last time over two miles was seriously impressive. Yeah. Um, they can't all have underperformed and he won with any amount in hand. Um, I think on the blind side, sh should trouble him, but I, d I don't think he'll beat him. I think he's a really, really talented horse. Um, I think every now and again we wait for horses like this to come along. I think he is the real deal, but the problem is everyone's cotton onto it and that's the price he is. Um, I think he will be even shorter on the day. I think there's a chance that he will scare other serious rivals off. There's a big chance that next destination might just go to the Albert Bartlett and not S take him SP on. SP prediction, please. Um, I think he'll be one to two. Mm. I was going 15 to 8 on. Yeah, I think on, in, on that point, right, and I think this is the thing that could benefit the viewers the most. Well, is both what, of them. Is what were. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and neither of them are watching you, Alistair. <laughs> right? what, let's just quickly, these 10 horses we've got listed here, yeah. what we think will run and we won't run. So Sam Crow will and the blind side will, as we, yeah. we yeah. mentioned. Next destination. Could go Albert Bartlett. Okay, yeah, Kalashnikov yeah. runs in the Supreme. Yeah. Duke Eugenia. 
Do the who? Don't know. Horse Good. Can't even pronounce it. If, if the, the cat, cat fits, fits goes to Supreme. Supreme. Black Op, which is the horse that I like most, whether it's going to run out of here in the Albert Bar. Yeah, that probably would be here. Or See, here and the Albert Bar. Yeah, he's that good. He can win twice. If you can have two glasses of wine in half an hour, he can win two minutes <laughs> at the best. Oh, I know. Two okay. glasses of wine in three minutes, mate. Charger. <laughs> Chardonnay, no, not Charger. No, no, no. no. Vindication, unbeaten vindication. Unlikely to go to the festival, apparently. But and right. Somerville Boy will probably run in the Supreme. So, right, yeah. to give you an idea, if Bill's two on there, it very well could happen. But Sam Crow will be a horse to bet on the day because it's not going to be a lot shorter than it is now. There'll be people well, we pushing it. We think it, it will be a lot shorter. Than I think. Now. I think. The show will at mm. five to three or right. five to two, whatever it is. It will probably be one twenty. That's what time it will be. I think in the morning there'll be plenty of bigger prices about it. But come on, let's finalise. I, I'm going to stick with on the blind side. I think five to one on the blind side might be a big price on the day, and I'd stick with him. Okay. Yeah, on the blind side. Yeah. Not okay. least because I like to see odds on shots get and stuff. Yeah. You did, and Bill? Uh, I, think, I think Sam Crow will win. Okay, yeah, just yeah. remember if we, were, if we were in Ireland and we were all Irish, you would have just had four Sam Crows. And that's yeah, pretty yeah. much yeah. how the festival works. But yeah. whether you want to back Sam Crow at four to six, black up at 14, or on the blind side that we've just put up at five to one, remember the website is www.stylesports.bet.